Who really invented the automotive assembly line? What did it look like in its earliest days? And how has it evolved into the highly automated data-driven systems we see today? Hi, I'm Ken Smith, and in this video, we'll explore rare historical footage from automotive manufacturers just to see how far the assembly line has come and how it changed not just the auto industry, but the entire world. The Forgotten Inventor, Ransom Eli Olds. Most people credit Henry Ford with inventing the assembly line, but the concept actually began with Ransom Eli Olds in 1901. At his Olds Motor Vehicle Company, Ransom created the first stationary assembly line for automobiles. Workers stayed in place while parts were brought to them, boosting production and making the curved dash Oldsmobile the first mass-produced car in America. Ford's game changer, the moving assembly line. In 1913, Henry Ford took Ransom Olds' idea to the next level, introducing the moving assembly line at the Ford Motor Company. While Henry Ford was still assembling his automobile in a stationary fashion at his Paquette plant in Detroit, he visited the Chicago stockyards. It was during this visit to a meat packing plant that he saw meat being moved down a conveyor system while workers stood in place doing a specific task that he came up with the idea of the moving assembly line. He broke down Model T production into 84 discrete steps, each performed by a specialized worker. Now, instead of workers going to the car, the car came to them on a moving conveyor system. The simple shift cut assembly line time from 12 and a half hours to just 93 minutes by 1924. And it didn't just speed things up. It slashed costs, making the Model T affordable for average Americans and igniting a transportation revolution that changed the world. This film clip shows some sections inside the massive Highland Park plant in Michigan that Henry Ford built to manufacture and assemble the Model T. The 1930s and 1940s, hands, not robots. In the 1930s, automotive assembly lines were not highly automated compared to today's standards. While the moving assembly line pioneered by Henry Ford significantly increased production speed, most tasks were still performed by hand, including many of the manual steps like tightening bolts and putting parts together. Automation in the 1930s mainly focused on moving components and tools to the workers rather than robotic assembly. The core innovation of the 1930s assembly line was its movement. Cars moved along a conveyor belt, allowing workers to stay in one place and perform specific tasks on each vehicle as it passed. Despite the moving assembly line, many assembly tasks were still performed manually. Workers would attach parts, tighten bolts, and make adjustments by hand. Some automation included using machines to perform repetitive tasks like stamping parts or welding, but the primary reliance was still on human labor. The assembly line also facilitated the standardization of parts and the specialization of labor, with workers focused on one or two tasks throughout the entire assembly process.
Wartime Assembly Lines Total Transformation World War II changed everything. Automakers stopped producing cars and started building tanks, planes, and military vehicles. Existing factories were retooled and new ones sprang up across the country. World War II significantly impacted the assembly line industry by drastically shifting production from civilian goods to war-related materials. Automakers, for example, transitioned from making cars to producing tanks, trucks, airplanes, and other military equipment. This wartime shift led to the creation of new assembly lines and facilities, while existing ones were repurposed to meet the demands of the war effort. The rapid increase in military production also resulted in a surge in demand for labor, leading to more women and minorities entering the workforce. And with millions of men off to war, women and minorities took center stage in these factories, reshaping the American workforce. This war shift doubled the gross national product, sparked unprecedented production, and laid the foundation for the post-war boom. The Rise of Automation, the 1950s to 1990s. By the mid 20th century, assembly lines began incorporating mechanical automation. Machines took over repetitive or heavy tasks like welding and painting. Specialized workstations improved workflow and reduced errors. Labor demands decreased while output and consistency increased. But automation didn't just make factories faster. It changed the skills required from the workforce, opening the door to more technical roles. Robotics and computer automation began impacting the automotive assembly line in the 1960s with the introduction of the first industrial robot, the Unimate. Significant advancements and widespread adoption continued through the 1970s, 80s, and 90s driven by improvements to computer technology and the development of more versatile robotic systems. The first industrial robot, the Unimate, was installed in a General Motors plant in 1961, making a pivotal moment in robotics for manufacturing. The Stanford arm, created in 1969, and the Silver arm, created in 1974, further advanced robotics, demonstrating more complex and versatile robotic capabilities. The integration of computers and sensors allowed for more precise, adaptable robotic systems, accelerating the adoption of robots in assembly lines. Today's assembly line, smart, fast, and flexible. In the 21st century, the automotive assembly line is a tech-driven marvel. Robotics perform most repetitive or dangerous tasks with speed and precision. Sensors and devices collect real-time data to optimize performance and detect defects early on. Collaborative automation allows robots and humans to work side by side. And thanks to advanced software, modern lines can produce multiple car models on the same line with minimal disruption. Unlike the rigid linear lines of the past, today's systems are dynamic and modular, adjusting in real time to production demands. The bigger picture, how it changed the world. 
The assembly line didn't just change how we build cars, it changed how we live. It helped make cars affordable for millions, transforming transportation, urban planning, and commerce. It fueled job creation and raised living standards, especially in industrial cities. And its core principles, efficiency, scale, systemization, have become pillars of modern capitalism. A legacy beyond the road. Looking back, Ford's moving assembly line became the blueprint for mass production across industries. From aerospace and electronics to food processing, the core principles, standardized parts, specialization, and efficiency spread rapidly. It was the foundation of the 20th century's industrial boom, transforming economies, boosting wages, and reshaping society. From Ransom Eli old static lines to Ford's moving belts, and now to robotic data-driven smart factories, the automotive assembly line is a story of relentless innovation. And its legacy goes far beyond the road. It's the engine of modern industry. If you want me to do a deeper dive in a particular car, hey, drop a line down in the comments below. Let me know. I'd love to hear about it. I'm Ken Smith. I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day, and you all be blessed.